All right, so uh, Dum Dum Me didn't finish doing the Claw Convoy event, so I have to do this one, this one, and this one still. So let's go ahead and head over to the signpost. Oh, I have to look at the mirror. I forgot about that. Okay, let's go. Looking down at the waypoint from a pie. Okay. That means. Are you running away? Up here. Okay. That one's out by the save point. I think it's that birdie right there. Okay. I think I know what that is. And yep, there is something there. Sen Chen asked me to leave a few words to the other adopters participating in the program. I'll leave mu I'll leave musings on the grand truths of life to others. After all, I'm just a rock musician and I don't like dealing in vagaries, vagaries and hollow phrases. I love the outdoors and practicing singing out there with the animals. They may not understand rock and roll, but they understand freedom better than some people. Treasure the time you spend with them. It's a gift to us from nature. Okay, so that one's done. Let's get to this next one. Mushroom. Flower. Collect more mushrooms. You never know, you might need these. way down. I think I see the signpost. Yep, there's the signpost. Okay, first up. I can see the signpost in my character. So... There's the same pose. There's the same pose, which means it's in this direction. Oh, there it is. And there's my character, so it's the other way along the river. Actually, I see it right now. high above the river. Okay. Oh, there it is over there. It is said that the origins of humanity's earliest clothing designs are in imitating nature. Even today, clothing inspired, inspired by creatures of the natural world continue to rock the fashion world of Fontaine. Protect them well, for they are the source of all that is beautiful in the world. I hope that you will experience beauty while observing them. Okay, got 
got that one done. This one, that one, no, that's not what I want to do. There we go. It registered me doing the back button twice, which I did not appreciate. Don't forget to stay hydrated. Okay, first one. Oh, up on the ledge. Okay. And I see it. <laughs> okay, I know where this is, because it should be that structure there, right? No, this one here. The structure here. <laughs> Need to find some place that has a good view of the door. And then back up high again, apparently. And there it is. Let me tell you a story. A prince had just been born to a young and vigorous king, whose health then suffered as a result. Top Squirrel, who always had a penchant for petty thievery, took advantage of this moment of weakness to steal some branches from the king's palace for his own home. The hoodlum Big Ears thought the prince looked tasty, and Here's so while the furious king was fighting with Top Squirrel, to he stealthily snuck behind the king's back to make a meal out of the prince, and the but was knocked out for execution. at a blow by the king who just happened to turn around at that moment. As for me, I simply happened to be passing by at that moment, and so I separated the three of them, who were locked in a struggle that had brought them to the brink of death, and took them to the Feiyun Commerce Guild to raise. Now the three of them are at each other's throats every time they see one another. <laughs> Alright. It looks like there's an afterword. I have to go back to Leo after this. Traveler, I've heard from the staff that you found all the transmitter equipped animals. To be honest, that was quite a surprise to hear. Some of them are naturally sensitive and will flee the moment an unknown creature approaches. But they didn't seem to mind you getting close. Quite curious. Well, I am friend to all animals. Haha. <laughs> and inviolable indeed. Is that how you say that word? I was growled at or bitten the first last few times the staff accompanied me to go feed the animals. I've even got scars in my arm to show for it. They hurt quite a bit, too. But, even though these lovely creatures don't seem to like me much, I'm just glad that they're all happy and well and happy. It's the same for all our adopti adopters. Everyone just wants to protect the animal's habitat and leave them undisturbed. I know that for many adventurers, wild animals are an important source of food, and we're not asking claw convoy members to not hunt at all. But we do advocate against wanton capture and slaughter. If everyone could do that, there's no doubt that our environment would be more, di even more diverse and beautiful. As one of our members, if it would be, it would be great if you'd acknowledge and accept this principle as well. I shall. I knew a reasonable person like you would see eye to eye with us on this. Just putting that thought into people's mind is success enough for us. If we get the chance, I'd love to see you at our next Claw Convoy event. With any luck, though, I won't be sporting any fresh scars on my arm when that time comes. 
All right, that event is over with now. All right, so that's going to be it for now, and I'll see you guys later.